hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are here for the very first time i would love to say welcome my name is monica and in today's video i'm going to walk you through the master bedroom and bathroom i will be telling you how i repurposed certain items i will also tell you where i purchased things and all that good stuff so make sure that you stay tuned if that is something you are interested in and let's just get right into it So right by the door I have this chair that sits right here and I have been asked so many times about the history behind this chair where I purchased it and all that stuff and this was given to me by my aunt it's the same aunt that gave me the beautiful green couch that I have downstairs and she had painted this and I believe she reupholstered this as well but I think she did an absolutely gorgeous job and um, yeah, that's pretty much the history behind that. I didn't buy this, it was given to me, and my aunt had um, completely redone this chair. Okay, so next I'm gonna tell you about this dresser and the two nightstands that go with it. I get asked about this all the time and how I painted it and what type of paint I used. I purchased the set for $60 at a thrift store a while back and I just picked a basic satin paint. I think the color was called Country White and I picked that up at Walmart and um, I just painted a couple coats and that was it. And then I just took a sander and distressed it. And then I just have my diffuser sitting here. I love diffusing oils in my bedroom and I purchased this diffuser at Walmart and it is glass. I love it. And then right here I have this little glass box and I purchased that at Ross and then it just holds all of my um, essential oils and then some of my air fresheners I have on the other side, but that's where I keep everything. So over here on my nightstand, I just have this bouquet of flowers that I threw together and I purchased most of these from Walmart. They actually have very beautiful silk flowers. Um, and then right here, this woman bust, whatever you call her, I don't know what it is. It's like a little statue and I get asked about her all the time and I purchased her at Home Goods. and then this candle holder here, I purchased that at Kirkland's. And then right here on the wall, I have these two quotes on both sides of the bed. They are so cute and adorable. I love them. And I purchased those as a set and I got those at Burlington. And then right here in the middle of the wall, I have this beautiful white frame. I purchased that at a garage sale for like $5, something crazy cheap. And it was gold and I painted it white. And I always keep this above my bed and then I just switch out the middle, whatever I have inside. And right now I have this really pretty wreath with white flowers and I purchased the wreath at Bed Bath & Beyond. Thank you. 
And then over here on this wall, I just have this decor piece that I kind of threw together. So on the wall, I have this lace that I kind of just stuck up here and I just tied pieces of lace to a jute string and then just stuck it on the wall with some pins. And then I placed a wreath right over it. I purchased the wreath at Joann's and then I just made this myself. I had just found a bunch of lace that I had in my craft room and then just kind of threw it together and just kind of gave it that dreamy boho look to it. But um, yeah, I get asked about this all the time and that's where I purchased the wreath part and then I just made the ribbons. And then right here for the window treatment, I just hung up white twin size sheets that I purchased at Walmart and they were under $5.00. In my last video, I kind of showed you exactly how I did that. And then right here, we just replaced the blinds with some darker ones. And then I'm just going to kind of show you outside. I do plan on doing a backyard refresh. I am just waiting on a few items from Amazon, and then I will get that video started. I know that a subscriber had asked that I make one of those videos or film one of those videos, and I am in the process of just waiting on a few items to arrive, but I just kind of wanted to quickly show you what my backyard looked like from up by the window and then I'm going to take you over to the bedding. I get asked about this bedding all of the time and I purchased the duvet cover in Shams from Target and it is part of the shabby chic line and then I just placed this bedspread right over the top of it and I made this I want to say about 10 or so years ago and it is just like a chenille fabric and it's gorgeous and um, yeah I made the bedspread and then I purchased the um, shams and the duvet cover at Target and then right here these pillows I purchased the pillows at Ikea and then I purchased the the euro shams that you see right here I purchased those from Amazon I purchased these beautiful pillow covers online. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in my description box for you. I will leave as many links as I possibly can for items. If you guys can't find a link and you are interested in something that you see here in this video, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and I will find that link for you if it is possible. But um, the store that I purchased these from, they have beautiful designs and their quality is amazing and I just love them and I think they just came out with some really pretty summer pillow covers. And then right before you go into the bathroom here, I just have this really pretty printed floral picture and it's in like a distressed shabby chic looking frame and I purchased that at an antique store a while back. And then I have this hall tree sitting here and this is where I keep my towels rolled up. I keep those down at the bottom and then I have, I normally have like the towels that we're using at the time hanging on these hooks right here but it just happened to fit perfectly right here and we don't have like a linen closet for our master bathroom but um so that is what I use for the towels and then right over here I have this wall hook thing and then I just keep all of my robes here And then right here we just have this sliding barn door and this goes into our shared closet and we purchased the barn door at Home Depot 
And then I just have this wreath hanging here. And what I did was I took a Dollar Tree wreath and just wrapped a garland around it. And that's what's hanging up there. And I'm using a command hook so I'm not damaging the barn door. I also get asked about these lights all the time and I purchased these on Amazon and I do have a link for those in my description box in case you are interested. And um, my husband redid this wall up here and he placed this board to avoid patching a huge hole where the previous fixture went and then I just added a wood applique. And then these two signs right here. The Hello There Handsome and Good Morning Gorgeous. I purchased those at Hobby Lobby. And then I just have a candle here that I made and it smells amazing. It is a orange blossom scent. It smells really, really good. But um, I get asked about this little shelf here all the time and I purchased that at Home Goods. I also purchased the Angel at Home Goods. And then this clock that's sitting right here, I purchased that at Hobby Lobby. It was a teal color and I painted it white. And then right over here, I purchased this sign. It says, happy girls are the prettiest. It is definitely one of my most all time favorite quotes. I purchased that at Kirkland's and the mirror was purchased at an antique store. This adorable pedestal was sent to me and I will leave the link to their store in my description box. And then I just have some Q-tips and some makeup brushes sitting in some milk glass. I believe I purchased those from an antique store as well. And then over here on the cabinets, I purchased the pulls and the knobs from Hobby Lobby. For the knobs right here, those were gold and I painted those white, the part that connects to the door part. And then I just added these um, metal, I don't know what they're called, corbels. I don't really know the correct term for them, but I placed those right here just to add something a little pretty. And I purchased those at Hobby Lobby as well. So the knobs, the poles, and then those little um, scrolly looking corbels. I purchased those from Hobby Lobby. And then right over here, oh my goodness, I love, love, love this bathtub. I purchased this at a local store in Las Vegas. I can't really remember the name of it, but um, I love this bathtub. And the um, floors that you can see right here, those are actually tile floors. I get asked what type of floors are in my bathroom and they are tile that look like wood. And then for the window treatment over here, I made this valance and then I just have a bamboo shade underneath that I just pull down when I'm um, taking a bath. And then I have this window covering and I purchased that at Home Depot and it's just peel and stick. It's like so easy to do. You just measure it out, you spray the window with water and then you just stick it right there and you can take it off and put it back on. And I never have any issues with it peeling. And then I get asked about this all the time and where I purchased this crystal hanging decor piece. I purchased it at Ross a really long time ago and then I just hung panels that I purchased off of eBay and they're just regular lace panels and I just placed those up there and then I just have my flowers that I picked from outside sitting in a vase here and um, and then I just put my bath salts in just a pretty jar. I take baths pretty much every single night and then the fixture right here for the bath I purchased that off of Amazon I believe and I do have links for that as well
And then right here, I just have the shower and the toilet room. That's where that door is. There's really nothing special in there besides the toilet. But um, then right here sitting on the floor, I've gotten asked a few times about where I purchased that. And that was purchased at Hobby Lobby. If there is anything that you did see that I did not mention, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I will be more than happy to answer for you. And um, I hope that I did answer most of your questions. If you guys have been with me for a while and you have asked where I did purchase things, um, I hope that I did help you out. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you left me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Bye.